Um, it's huge. Uh, you know, we lost two games in a row, so it was, it was to us it was a must-win game. You know, we had to come out and uh, protect our home court and um, get a win because you know I think it was like a what was it a five-way tie between second place or third place or something like that. So we knew we had to separate ourselves. Um, yeah, it was it's, it was a really important win. Did you kind of take that personally? You obviously had a great first half and were able to come out strong offensively. Was that something on your mind? Like I, I need to lead and make that statement. Uh, just being aggressive. You know, the coaches told me just not. Uh, keep my head down, keep it up. You know, I've had a little shooting slump, but, you know, everyone goes through it. So I just I just made sure I came out and, and knocked shots down for my team. And, um, you know, they found me and just played as hard as I could. The last few seasons, there have been a lot of home games with, you know, empty crowds, not a lot of people in the stands. Now, 12 and 0 at home, you're starting to see student section full. How much yeah. is that helping you guys and, and your energy levels and, and just the difference overall? It means a lot, man. Yeah. You know, having the students out here and supporting us. You know, some of the people in the stands we see every day. So it means a lot. You have a you know a young a young group of uh, people. You know, in the in the stands. You know, being loud and, and reckless and you know doing what they do to help us win. And especially the fans that are out here. Um, you know, not the student section. They're doing a great job. And uh, like I mean, he'll tell you it means a lot when you have fans out, out you know at home. Yeah, it's like a sixth player, and I think we really worked hard last uh, two years to get that and uh, to keep up the winning streak at home. So we're li really looking forward for the future games. Does it, does it feel like just a, a whole different arena almost? Because there were yeah. so many empty seats. Definitely, yeah. Years. Yeah, we looked up in the student section and saw it you know, full, and we were like, man, that that's fun. You know, and you, it means a lot. You know, you, we went to go play Washington, and they had a, a crazy student section. And um, you know, it, it helps when you have a lot of, a lot of fans there. And uh, you know, when you're in a little slump, you know, they, they get you going or you're on a run, they get really loud. Um, so, yeah, like he said, they're like a six man. You know, it means a lot to have them all out here. How difficult do you think the turnaround will be playing a late Thursday night game and then playing your next game on Saturday? I mean, we just need to pre prepare. We're going from game to game, and it, the time really doesn't make a difference. We just need to make sure that we come in tomorrow and start getting ready for Washington because we saw it's good for us. They beat UCLA, and I think that we own them from the last time for the loss at Seattle. So we're really looking forward for that matchup. What are your thoughts about going to be on Saturday? You guys went there before. You talked about the crowd in some section. Coming home, obviously, trying to defend that perfect record. Um, What's your thoughts on the game coming up? It's a big game. Uh, like he said, you know, we felt like we should have won that game, and we should have. Um, just some silly mistakes by us at the end. And, uh, you know, to have the fan base come out, you know, Saturday and be loud and be, be wild and, and help us, you know, win that game is going to be huge because, you know, Washington's a good team. So, But we felt like we, we should have won the game up there, and now we got a chance to get him back. So. Do you guys see offensively, because like she mentioned, uh, what – how struggling you guys were offensively. Do you feel like today was kind of a step back in the right direction? Yeah, for sure. We played we played like we've been playing all year, and um, that's what got us ranked, playing hard, playing team basketball, team defense, um, making extra passes. You know, that's what got us ranked and got us, you know, the recognition we needed to get and as well as win. So, um, you know, we just got to keep doing that. And like he said, focus on Washington. That's our next game we got to prepare for. And yeah, I just want to add, like, last five games, we had a really hard schedule, and we had, like, so many games on the road, only, like, two at home. And uh, yeah, I think we did a pr pretty good job. Uh, we accept yeah. it maybe expected one or two more wins, but it just happened like that. So we just need to keep working hard, and we'll be fine. Losing that number 21 ranking, do you think that fuels your guys' fire, fuels that motivation to try and do better as the season goes on? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we work so hard. Um, you know, the spring and summer was, was we worked really hard, you know, trying to get to be a good basketball team. And, um, you know, the whole preseason, we just worked our butts off, you know, trying to get recognition we deserved. And we felt like we're a great team. And, you know, to see that ranking on, on you know, on TV and to see that ranking besides our name meant a lot. And then we, we lost it. And now it's like, you know, we know how good we are. Um, it doesn't have to say a number on the side or not. You know, we know what type of basketball team we are. And, um you know, today was a, a step in the right direction. You know, we lost two two games and come out and made a statement win, and now we just got to keep uh, keep pushing forward. 
the first half for Rogue Boost for Washington State at 16 points and he had just five in the second half. What yeah. do you think you did differently in the second half to limit him on offense? He made tough shots. I mean, the shot clock was winding down. He hit, like, I think there was three or four shots he hit. Um, there were some turnaround um, and some threes when the shot clock was going down. And, uh, you know, what we, we were talking about in the huddle is, you know, they're not going to keep making these shots the whole game. You know, those are tough shots. We're playing great defense, you know, and they, they we get bailed out by, you know, uh, Ike's turnaround jumpers and, and some other people were making some some tough shots. So we just we just kept to the, to the game plan, kept to the script and kept playing hard and did our part. And, um, you know, he wasn't making those in the second half. So that was good for us. Thank you.